What's up? What's up? It's Friday. It is Friday. I'm kind of tired. She's been a week. I am, um, work has been really busy lately. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I need, I need this drink right here. Guys, get your drinks. Cheers. It's Friday. Cheers to this. Oh, oh. yeah, down. Mm -hmm. Bourbon, beer, wine, fruit beers, the old uh, cruises. They're good. But yes, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Me and Dallas are here chilling. You'll probably hear him snoring. He was asleep. Now he's looking at me because he has no idea who I'm talking to. You want to come here and say hello? Hmm? Wanna come here and say hello? He really doesn't, hey. Come on, look, 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 look. Come here, monkey. Oh, little baby. Little baby. Hi. Oh, thanks for the kisses. <laughs> hello to the camera. Hi. Little Mookia, little piggy. I actually just watched Moana, like, last weekend for the first time. I know, I'm late. I didn't... Like, I'm all for Disney. Ooh, we're off. Anyway, long story short, he looks like the little pig from Moana. <laughs> hey? You look like a little piggy. You sound like a little piggy too. He's so unimpressed that I just woke him up. Anyway, yes, I was late on the Moana train. But I enjoyed it. It was really good. But yeah, literally, if you haven't seen Moana, and you don't want to see Moana, whatever. But Google, like, pig from Moana. That is Dallas. Oh, he's really got the shits with me. <laughs> he's, he's being sassy, he's lying on the ground now. Anyway, where were we? Happy Friday. Yeah, it's been a massive week, guys. Work has been super busy. For those of you that uh, have wondered, or I, I do get the questions like, yes, I do actually work. Even though, um, doing this fishing thing here in Australia. It is not full time, I wish it was full time. Um, I do work for the parents refrigeration company, so I do manage to uh, get a lot of time off, sort of working for them, basically kind of working for yourself, I guess, kind of. Um, yeah, gives me, or allows me to take a lot of time off for fishing, although not this year with, uh, with uh, COVID that has been around. But um, yeah, a lot of commercial stuff, and uh, it's, it's, been, it's been a week, so I'm pretty tired, so apologies if I look tired, I'm trying to be awake, but Friday. Alright, so, yes, oh, last week, last week, I actually, um, I literally just ran out of time to upload last week, so I really apologise for that, I've had a, a couple of people hit me up, <laughs> I know, I know, I, it was really slack of me, and I do actually feel really bad, I literally just, these last couple of weeks have just honestly... I've been run off my feet and I've been pretty tired and I literally just ran out of time to upload. However, um, I, I have had the uploads from the um, Somerset tournament up, so if you guys haven't seen those, whether it be the pre-fish video or the actual tournament video, they both came up actually pretty good. So, if you guys haven't seen that, then uh, at the end of this video will be the tournament video, so make sure you check that out. The, uh, the pre-fish video is actually pretty good too. So, um, they'll probably be in a little description thing I'll put up here, up the top there, for you guys to click on. Right? Yes. Good. Attention paid. Let's go. Moving on to the next thing. Um, moving on to the next thing. There's really not that much. Um, probably going to get out and go fishing tomorrow. I really want to get out to Maroon. I know I've been saying that for a little while now. I still have not made it down to Maroon yet. Um, so hopefully tomorrow... That's the plan. I mean, not hopefully, like, that is the plan. Oh, that's what's new. So, I got a lovely call from council today. Uh, I live in, uh, in Joiner, in Brisbane, and I've lived here since this estate was pretty much built. You know, me and, uh, me and the ex Danielle moved in here, uh, probably four and a half years ago, I think. And from day one, I've parked my boat 
out the front where you guys have seen it before, it's been in videos out the front before, it's been out of the way, never bothered a soul. And I got a pamphlet from council uh, the other week saying don't park on nature strips. It was like a pamphlet, like it wasn't a letter directed to me, it was literally just a pamphlet that was like, this is where you can park, this is where you can't park, blah blah blah. I quickly read it and went, yeah, whatever, threw it in the bin. Literally got a call, council today, it was issued a warning because I can't park on the nature strip. Like, yeah, I know that, but it, it's been there for four and a half years and it's never bothered a soul. But now, <laughs> if he saw it there again, <clears throat> I'm going to cop a fine. So, playing by council rules, I've now had to park it on the road, literally like, and I can't even, you know, the estate that I live in, the street is really, the street's quite narrow. So people either park on the nature strip or they park with two wheels up, two wheels down. But uh, yeah, the whole two wheels up, two wheels down thing is also illegally parked. So I can't even do that with the boat. So I don't know where this leaves me. I'm gonna play this by ear, see how much pisses off council by literally, I. You know, we've got a closed Facebook group for the estate. I apologise to people. I don't want it literally on the road. And even if it was sort of on the road, I'd rather have two wheels off the road and have the two wheels on the roadside, like in the gutter. So people can still get past on the nature strip. People can still get past on the road. But, yeah, no fuego from uh, council. So, Brisbane City Council... Actually, I think I'm Morton Bay. I think I'm Morton Bay Regional Council. So, Morton Bay Regional Council. Thank you so much. You really made this really easy. Honestly, it's just a pain in the ass. So, yeah, I literally... I apologise to everyone in the estate on the Facebook page. Like, I don't want it there. That would annoy me if I was driving past. It does annoy me now, and I'm not driving past. Like, anyway, so that's kind of really pissed me off. So we'll play it by ear and see what council says. Because honestly, I can't park it in the driveway because then you can't block, like, across the nature strip on your own driveway. But there's no winning here. There is no winning in this situation. Anyway. That's what I'm dealing with. God. Hey, cheers to that, hey? Mmm. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. Back on, uh... So, this is to be continued with, with the whole boat situation. It's really, uh... Just ruffled my feathers. Right? Anyway. I did, um... One of my followers, um... Jess, actually. She messaged me, she watches my stuff, Jess, thank you, that's pretty cool that you watch my stuff, but she messaged me during the week, and um, she actually caught her first bass, which is sick. She's like, uh, hey Keegs, just had to let someone know, but I caught my first bass today, I'm still so excited, it's only small compared to the chunks at Newcaps, but it's still so cool. This is the fish. Little fella, but hey, that is awesome. I, um, she caught it on a purple spinnerbait, which is sweet. Sweet. Jess, that's sick. <laughs> I, I, um, it's actually awesome. Like, I love it. I love it when people message me, stuff like that. You know, I get, I get younger people, older people messaging me, everyone. Like, every, guys, mainly guys, this is actually probably the first chick. Actually, this message me saying, like, I caught my first bass, which I think is awesome. Like, there should be more girls in fishing. I think it's awesome. Um, in America, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty in Australia, but in America, it's just such a massive deal. Like, everyone, boys, girls, like, of all ages, they're into fishing. Australia seems to be quite male-dominated, but um, I think that's awesome. The chicks are getting out there like Jess. So, shout out, Jess. That's awesome. See if you can... Uh, outdo me and catch a big fella. <laughs> but yeah, purple spinnerbait, which is sick. I love a spinnerbait bite. 
I love a spinner bait bite. Reaction bites should be coming into uh, into uh, in a swing when uh, the hot weather is starting. You know, springs here. Jig bite. The jig bite's coming. I'm really excited for jig. That's why I want to go down to maroon because I really want to get get some jigs in there and throw them around. Um, yeah, look, that was the most exciting thing. Jeff's messaged me with that photo. And, oh, the Queensland Open. So, we're not... <sighs> grand final is... Um, I doubt that the grand final is actually going to happen, which is a different story. Um, grand final was sort of postponed as to what's happening with these borders being shut between Queensland and everywhere. Um, so grand final for this year has been postponed, which sucks. I, I don't think that we will actually have it because, you know, I don't, I highly doubt that we'd have two grand finals in one year. Like if that be the case, if this grand final didn't happen this year, I don't think we're going to have the 2020 grand final and the 2021 grand final next year. I highly doubt that's going to happen. But, um, yeah, so that kind of sucks. Because there were some, uh, some boats up for grabs, actually, which would have been cool. Um, the Australian Open, which was supposed to be happening, I don't know, I think it was supposed to be happening, like, pretty much now. Um, so the Australian Open is not happening because of COVID and the border closures and everything. So what was proposed and what is happening is there's going to be a Queensland Open and a New South Wales Open. So this was proposed to us um, at the last round at Somerset. If the borders didn't open on the 1st of September, then what will happen is we'll have a Queensland Open and a New South Wales Open on the 2nd and 3rd of October. So New South Wales will still be down at Glenbourne where the Australian Open was going to be and Queensland Open will uh, be up at Lake Cania, which is where the grand final was supposed to be. And uh, yeah, so it's big money payback, it's big money entry. It's like 500 and something bucks entry, but big money payback. So entered into that, Cania has always been kind to me, touch wood, hopefully it's still kind to me. And uh, we will see, so stay tuned for that. I will be heading out there um, next week, I think. Either next week or the week after. I think it's the week after, actually. I'm going to be heading out there for almost a week to uh, to pre-fish for that event. And then back for a week. And then I'll be going up there for the tournament. Which would be cool. I actually really enjoy Kenya. It's awesome. Um, especially at this time of the year. It's going to be fishing sweet. So, hopefully, I'll have some awesome footage to, uh, to shoot out your way. Other than that... That's about it guys, that sort of wraps it up. <clears throat> so, as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me the thumbs up, right? Give me the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe that button, like smack that subscribe button for me, really trying to get the followers up so I can keep on bringing videos like this to you. My dog just had some weird little aneurysm twitch that distracted me. <laughs> but guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel, make sure you watch my last couple videos because they are actually really good. I know I'm finally back fishing again. 2020 has been a complete write-off. It sucked. So let's all move on out of 2020 together. Um, Facebook and Instagram, Keegan Painter Fishing. Make sure you jump over there and shoot me a follow and a like over there as well. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, everyone congratulate Jess on, uh, on the first bass catch on the purple spinnerbait. Hell yeah. That's sick. That's sick. And uh, look, all in all, just have a chill weekend. Right? Catch some fishies. Message me your catches. Right? We'll have a competition. Whoever catches a bigger fish than me this weekend, I will, uh, I don't know, I'll come, up with, I'll come up with some sort of prize pack. So message me a photo of what you caught this weekend on a brag mat. No cheating. Lips to the end of the brag mat. And uh, if you catch a bigger fish, it doesn't matter. Well, actually, all right. <laughs> it, it can't be like like a cod or something, because that's going to win. So let's make it, or a toga, because they, they can get pretty long. Let's go bass or yellow belly, right? Bass or yellow belly, if you catch a bigger fish than what I caught this weekend, then 
I'll send you uh, a prize pack of something. I don't know. I've got, I've got whatever. Whether it be lures, stickers, hats. I don't know. I'll, I'll have a dig and I'll come up with something. So we'll run, we'll run that, right? Send me a photo of your catches. If uh, you catch a bigger one than me and the biggest one overall out of anyone. So if 10 people send me a photo and all 10 are bigger than what I catch, the biggest one out of those 10, I will send you something. Right? How's that? That was super confusing and I'm just doing this like on the fly and that kind of confused me a lot, but we'll go with it. Dallas is looking at me because he's confused as well. I'm confused. We're all confused. But basically, just catch a big fish and send it to me and you might win something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. I am out. Hey, cheers to the weekend. Good luck trying to outdo me. See what's up. See you guys.